All right, so for the very final um, content video for uh, this chapter, if you will, um, we're going to kind of talk about something that we've kind of assumed, and it's not always a great assumption. Um, and that is, um, it deals with all colligative properties, vapor pressure lowering, which is a little bit more complex, um, as well as the boiling point elevation, freezing point depression, and osmotic pressure. And it's a correction term, and it's known here as the Bant Hoff factor. Um, it's a lowercase i, and it takes into account uh, electrolytes or salts or species that when they go into solution, so if you have a solute and it goes into solution and it forms multiple different ions or components, um, then our estimates are all going to be incorrect based on concentration. So if you remember at its very core, colligative properties only matter about how much stuff there is, how much solute you add to the solvent. Now, if you think of something like salt, which is NaCl, you'll have, for example, sodium we'll show here in, uh, in green, and then uh, chloride I'll show here in red. Maybe not the best for green, red, blind people, but uh, so here's our, our sodium, here's our chloride. When you take these and you mix them in water, um, those will dissociate into your two different ions. So your Na plus and your Cl minus. So this is the uh, solution making process. But you'll notice as a solute, NaCl is one molecule. As it dissociates to Na plus and Cl minus, it forms two ions. And remember, colligative properties is a pure entropic argument, and it only deals with how much stuff is there. So in this case, when we dissolve NaCl into, let's say, water or whatever we're dissolving it into, it's actually making two things. And if we just use the concentration of just NaCl, we're going to have a very poor estimation. So what we do is we have a Van Hoff factor, which is an I, and it generally corresponds to how much uh, your materials dissociate. Now for some things, so like for example, in the last problem, we're talking about hemoglobin. Um, hemoglobin is a one-to-one -one process, as are a lot of organics. It's really only the electrolytes that are gonna give us issues. Um, now for the exam, I'm not going to test you or care about this, but for the homework, this comes up a decent amount. So that's why I wanted to have a last video about it. And you'll notice here in each of the equations that we have, so our boiling point and freezing point changes, which are normally just delta T equals K times M. We had a little bit, of, we had an I there that you multiply. And for osmotic pressure, pi equals MRT, we had an I there. And that's the only thing you have to do. You're just going to take that Van Hoff factor and then just plug it in and then have that be an extra multiplication. So the question is, how do we find out what I is? And in a very rudimentary kind of guess, um, I is simply going to be how many ions you're going to dissociate. So for example, NaCl, I equals two. I give another example here, uh, magnesium chloride. Magnesium chloride, so MgCl2, breaks up to magnesium two plus, and then two ions of Cl minus. So overall, that's gonna be a total of three ions. So we call the I uh, equal to three. Now in reality, if we do that, they're all technically an overestimate. So in reality, NaCl is actually 1.9 and magnesium chloride is 2.7, um, but we're not gonna care that much. Um, so we're just gonna talk about how many ions it breaks into. So you'll think about the um, uh, each of these problems, especially when you do the OWL Cengage homework, um, you're gonna have this extra factor of I that you'll bring in. Now for the exam, uh, the first celebration of knowledge, um, if I want you to use this, I will specifically include that equation and give you the value for I. Um, it's not gonna be there at all. Um, but I want you just to be familiar for when you're doing the homework, um, 
because some of your problems might be wrong if you don't include that Van Hoff factor. And again, this is just a correction to make sure that our calculations are actually correct. Um, because of the fact if you have one species that are breaking up into two or three when you're going to dissolve, um, the effects are going to be very different because you're getting double or triple or you get a bunch of extra solute effectively based on that uh, dissociation of your electrolyte. Um, so that's just a thing to mention. Um, and that's just going to care about things like electrolytes, which are most common, are going to be something like uh, a sodium or a magnesium. Uh, so on the periodic table, something way on the right and something way on the left. Um, so more of the organic stuff, uh, your Van Hoff factor will just be one. And you'll notice if your Van Hoff factor is just one, so for example, hemoglobin is just one, our equation, so if I equals one, our equation reduces down just to pi equals MRT, which is the exact same thing that we've talked about in all the previous videos. So just a small correction uh, that I just want you to be familiar with for uh, electrolyte or, or multiprotic species. Um, with that, I think that's all I really want to say about that. And I'll go ahead and call it quits here.